Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today we're going to work on divisibility rules with the digital root. We all know that numbers that are even are divisible by 2. We all know that numbers that end in a 5 or a 0 are divisible by 5. And we all know that numbers that end in a 0 are evenly divisible by 10. It's the 3, 6, 9 that we're going to focus on today. Numbers that are divisible by 3, 6, and 9. Let's start with the number 39. 39 has a digital root. 3 plus 9 is 12. 1 plus 2 is 3. It has a digital root of 3. Is this number divisible by 3? Yes. Is it divisible by 6? No. Is it divisible by 9? No. How do we know it's not divisible by 9? Well, we actually know that 9 times 4 is 36 and 9 times 5 is 45, so it falls right in between. The same thing with 6. It's bigger than 6 times 6, but smaller than 6 times 7. Let's look at the number 86. 8 plus 6 is 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. Is that number divisible by 3? Hmm. Well, no, it is not. Is it divisible by 6? Nope. And is it divisible by 9? Nope. How do I know that? I actually divided it out in my head, but you could take 86 divided by 3. That's 2, 6 leaves me 2, and 3 doesn't go into 26 evenly. 86 divided by 6, that's 1, 6, 2, and 6 doesn't go into 26 evenly. And 86 divided by 9, well, I know 9 times 9 is 81, so it doesn't go in there evenly. So I said no for all of those. How about a big number like 356? 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. Digital root of 5. No, no, no. Here's the rule. If it has a digital root of 3, 6, or 9, it is divisible by 3. If it has a digital root of 3, 6, or 9, and is an even number, it is divisible by 6. If it has a digital root of 9, it is divisible by 9. Add that to what we already know, digital root 3, 6, 9, divisible by 3, digital root 3, 6, 9, and even, divisible by 6. And that makes sense because you know it's divisible by 6 if it's divisible by 3 and 2. This is how you tell it's divisible by 3. This is how you tell it's divisible by 2. And digital root of 9, it's divisible by 9. You can tell that on every single number that you're dealing with, large numbers or small numbers. I might not know if 11,137 is divisible by 3, 6, or 9, but I can find out real easily. 1, 2, 3, 6, 13, 3 plus 1 is 4. I know immediately it is not divisible by 3, it is not divisible by 6, it is not divisible by 9, 10, 5, or 2. Does that make it a prime number? No, because you still have 4, 7, 13, 17, and a number of other numbers it could be divisible by. How about 690? Off the top of my head, I'm going to find out the digital root. 6 plus 9, 15. 1 plus 5, 6. It is divisible by 3. It is divisible by 6. And it is not divisible by 9. If you want to go through the whole list, it's divisible by 2 because it's even. Divisible by 5 because it ends in a 0. Divisible by 10 because it ends in a 0. Divisible by 3 because it has a digital root of 6. And divisible by 6 because it has a digital root of 6 and is even. Wow. That seems like a lot, lot, lot of work. What about a number like 6,734? Well, let's find its digital root and see if that helps us. First of all, it's even, so you know it's divisible by 2. It doesn't end in a 5 and a 0, so it is not divisible by 5. And it doesn't end in a 0, so it's not divisible by 10. 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20, 2 plus 0 is 2, so its digital root is 2, which means it is not divisible by 3, 6, or 9. Take some time, do your practice. Remember when you get in a bind, especially if you're taking a standardized test, that the easiest way to tell divisibilities of 3, 6, or 9 now is to use your digital root.